To a very special episode of Saturday Morning Cartoons. Each week we've shown you the weirdest, worst, and sometimes best of classic Saturday morning and syndicated animation of the 70s, 80s, and 90s. Your hosts, as always, Joe and Nick. Hi, the bad, yes. The bad boys of VHS collecting. appearing in a ve- for this. Appearing in a venue near you is the Found Footage Festival and online as hosts of VCR Party Live. Oh. Hello, gentlemen. Thorough introduction, George. I love yes. it. Thank you. I'm George. very excited about tonight's episode. <laughs> my, my introduction to myself was interrupted, but my name is George, and I am a guy who knows Joe and Nick. Okay. And joining us today is permanent special guest host, Professor Caitlin McGurk of the Billy Ireland Cartoon Library and Museum in Columbus. She's been here for 25 episodes, more than any other guest by far. She's a comics expert and will be hosting this show long after we're dead. So she's finally in the opening credits where she belongs, added to our title card by longtime Shatterday artist Don Sparrow. Hello, Professor. Oh, yes. Wonderful. It's oh. my 25th anniversary. Wow. Yeah. Really Happy anniversary. anniversary. Thanks. And, and this yes. is your first first episode as a uh, as a married lady, too. How does that feel? Yeah. Wow, it's so different. Extremely different. <laughs> I'm sure. And also joining us on this very, very special occasion is another fantastic guest, famed voice actor with 148 IMDb credits, hundreds of episodes of shows from Pokemon to Sonic the Hedgehog, two-time Shatterday guest and friend of the show, Jason Griffith. How are you, All Jason? Right. Ahoy! I'm, I had no idea I had that many credits on IMDb. That's uh, that's insane. I counted them all. I was going to um, say. I, uh, how, yeah. Wow. What percentage of them are Sonic? Would you say? <laughs> uh, I, I ten. I'd say ten percent. Ten percent, really? 10%. Oh, okay, yeah, sure. okay, all right. Maybe less. Maybe less. Is that the highest percentage? Would you no, say? No, no. What's God, your highest percentage? Was... Oh man! I just always know you as Sonic the Hedgehog guy. Like, yeah. Uh, what is? Is there another character that you had reoccurring more than Sonic? I think so. I I can't remember. Uh, there was a there were yeah yeah. Uh, I play a, a fire truck right now in a. <laughs> <laughs> in, a, in a cartoon called Robo Carpoli, so uh, I I, I put out fire I put out fires about five hundred times, so that that's probably a bigger percentage. Okay, point. one of our go. nation's heroes. We should, do we need to salute you, Jason, or is that please uh, absolutely okay? Yes. And right. also, I feel like you have a fire uh, behind you. Like there's like yeah, it's this a, like there's like oh it's a sun it's a sun. That's the western yeah, that's the western sky out there, boys. That's the <laughs> desert. <laughs> It doesn't it's, do north. It's, it's the ultimate fire. It's Saturday morning, so that's actually the eastern side, right? Correct. Oh, right. Oh, the right. morning. Of yes. yes. That's right. right. Okay. Right. Well, let's let's talk cereals and mugs. Yes. That's what we do here. Uh huh. I'll go now, first, George. I got a I got a new mug here. Um. Well, it's not new, but see this uh guy here, and see this lady here. It says streaking is good for your health. It's and medically accurate. Yep, it is, is there, good for your health. Does it show actual nudity on there, or is it? Uh, was the artist a coward? Uh, the artist was a coward. There's no okay. um, pubic hair or nipples. So. Ah, all right. yeah. Very early seventies nude. Yeah, I'm yeah. rocking uh, kidney kidney mug. There's a uh, yep. I don't know what the what the yellow is. Is that like that is the distal convoluted tubule through which? <laughs> or no, I'm sorry, that's the ureter through which um, u- urea <laughs> flows. Of course, you had an answer for that. Okay, yes. good. You'll ask and answer. Nice. Thank you. Uh, that's me. And I have a mug from my new favorite band, the Happy Shatterdays. Yes. <laughs> from shortly. Don't put that in the dishwasher. Not all there you can <laughs> what do Not you have? Dishwasher safe. What do you have, Jason? Uh, I well, honestly, I didn't know we were, uh, you know, here on a Saturday morning, if you know what I mean. But uh, I, I have the same J mug, and I have a stapler. And uh, that, that counts King novels. So um, I don't know which one I'm going to eat first. 
I think we should all like go. So this is like towards the end of this season of Shatterday. For the next season of Shatterday, we all bring like a different stapler to the show. <laughs> and it's like, it's yeah, not bad. We all show off our, our stapler. Yeah. I call the swing line. <laughs> oh, I, you know what? I got another mug here. Only it's it has like five day old stained coffee uh, from the strand. So we'll say I have a strand mug today. Oh, you, wait a All second. Right. Uh, hold on a second. I got a, I got a goddamn stapler here. How about this? Take this. <laughs> Take this. I got a stapler. Uh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. I got one too, but I don't yeah. want to. I don't want to blow my wad for uh, next season. So I'm not going to give away too much on that. All right. That's the, that's the new show, huh? And I, I have a um, a mug with lick broccoli from um, if you remember from the claymation sh- uh, cartoon version of. Uh, the California, California raisins. raisins. Yeah, yeah. The, the, the Mick Jagger. That looks like an Britney. actual mug, though. Is that? Um, it is not. It is taped oh. to an actual oh. mug. Oh, but it's yeah, shiny. It's it it yeah. fooled me. Yes. It, and we wa- And that was a cartoon we watched this year. That was a cartoon we watched just like <laughs> okay. three, three or four okay. weeks ago, maybe. Okay, interesting. Yeah. I'll have to, I'll have to go back and watch it. They're oh. all so memorable. Okay. <laughs> was I there for it? You were you made okay. several comments and then you <laughs> re- said that you didn't remember any of it. And we've proven that. So yes, we show cartoons here, but today's episode is going to be quite a bit different. And to give you an inkling of what today's show is all about, let's watch a commercial. If you're looking for adventure this summer, escape with Marvel Comics, fight crime with Spider-Man, meet the Fantastic Four, and watch Captain America in action. May the Force be with you as you battle the evil empire in Star Wars. Discover the secrets of the South American jungle in Raiders of the Lost Ark. And with Marvel Comics, you're never alone because they can go with you in the car on or the to the back park. of a dolphin. Even on a rainy day, Marvel Comics are your ticket to fun and adventure this summer. They look so depressed. They did. They're, so they're like, depressed. they're sitting on a slide. Shouldn't they be sliding on the slide? <laughs> and so they're like sitting there reading a dopey comic. <laughs> and the cinematographer's like, throw the comics in the grass while the wind is blowing. Well, it's a good thing we don't have a comics expert here while you're while you're uh, insulting comics. But if you'd like to jump in, professor, and defend the medium, that's okay. But oh, if sure. not, I mean, I'm I'm gonna argue for those kids were like hiding from the bullies on the playground by like hiding <laughs> in the play areas because they're the comics reading kids. So that's right. it. Yeah, that's my right. assessment. Excellent save. All right, so many wonderful artists send us images they create. And a few weeks ago, Joe opened a package from New Zealand at Shatterday HQ here in Brooklyn. It was a custom comic book about this very show from an artist named Cookie Madison. And the comic stars Nick, Joe, Caitlin, and me, along with Nick's dog, Marty, and Caitlin's dog, Rambo. And it's done in the style of Scooby-Doo and its Hanna-Barbera clones. It has in-jokes, classic TV references, and we're going to do a table read of it right now with us as ourselves and Jason as everyone else. And <laughs> it deserves its own opening credits and theme song, I think. So let's all watch Shatterday Morning Mysteries. Shatterday Morning, Shatterday Morning, Shatterday Morning, Shatterday Morning. Strangest dreams around the world, never fear the gang is here. Roaming through the dunes where blows the song. Skelter sounds like welcome, ghostly blues better take shelter when the crew proves it's not weird at all. Joe is joking, Nick is sick, and Caitlin's thinking, George is creeping, Rambo's barking, Marty's sleeping, Shatterday, Shatterday, Shatterday morning, Shatterday morning, Shatterday morning, Shatterday morning. Nailed it, George. Wow. <laughs> so good. Damn. And so I love great. the boob font for Shat. Really impressive. <laughs> Very last minute edition. But, uh, <laughs> the strumming knew... on the guitar was my favorite. It was. Oh, uh, I like that too. Great. Yes. The, the one actual animation thing I did. <laughs> <laughs> That's still more than half the cartoons we do. You know, yeah, like yeah. the animation was better than a lot of that. It, it might be. Watch. It might be your best song that you've ever done, and it's only going to be for one episode of a show. And we're never going to do well, this again, right? Until Cookie Madison comes up with a oh, sequel. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah we're, we're putting or some or pressure on you, Cookie. You. Maybe he'll sue you for uh, yeah. you know, <laughs> permission for you. <laughs> we could can use we, the publicity. Can we, can we talk about Cookie, though? Like, yeah. Okay, yeah. so Cookie sent this. And like, I, uh, his name is Richard. And he sent it to us. And did what did he say? He said that he doesn't have any experience writing comics. 
Yeah, and he sent me a letter. Thank you. Thank you, Rich, for writing to me at the Cartoon Library. He's a big comics fan and knows that comics aren't really what found footage is about. But um, and so he didn't want to try to make an animation, but had no experience making comics and whipped this up anyway. And it's truly outstanding. But everything, the lettering, the, the illustrations, the coloring, the story. Like the, the, just, just the, this should be written by like a staff of people, but right. it's just written by cookie. He's yeah, a master he, of the form. Even, in, even included, I mean, you can tell he's a comics fan because there are like the, the advertisements you would find in some of those old comics from that commercial you showed up, up top, George, you know, like uh, for Velcro shoes or, <laughs> you know, getting stronger magazines and all sorts of stuff like that. Yeah, and he's got stuff going on in the foreground and background and like, you know, an insane use of, uh, I think it's both watercolor and colored pencils. Col colored like pencil, an yeah. unbelievable amount of colored pencils. So. But, but yeah. even like background details, and you'll, you'll see all this stuff when we start playing it, but like there's background details. So like you notice things the second time that you read it. It's, it's so, it's, dude, so talented. And yeah, mm -hmm. and, and he's wasting his talent on us. If we and love it. All, all the way in New Zealand. Did we mention that? Hopefully, right? Yeah. I mean, that's right. like oh, so cool he... that there's a fan that far away. And there's a great comic scene in New Zealand. Uh, but I don't know. I hope a lot of people know about Cookie Madison out there. Yeah. Well, he, when, he, I, he... when I read it, when I first saw it, I thought to myself, this absolutely must have been commissioned by you guys. Because yeah. <laughs> Not at all. A, a Not at all. Showed up at our doorstep. And then we opened it. And then, Unreal. yeah. But yeah. he did just open it to... like three months after we got it, I think, because we did we're very bad at opening our mail. So he said that he was while he was in quarantine, this was what like his project and it kept him sane. Like so wow. Thrilled to thrilled to be or thrilled to be any part of this. It was yes. so great. All right. And I'm, I'm ex yeah, and I'm excited to have one of the best voiceover talents in the business, Jason Griffith. Mel here Blank. To, oh to okay. the Mel Blank. <laughs> I you who's generously loaned his talents to play most of the characters in uh the comic so we'll, yep. we'll see we'll see if i you. yeah we'll see if i uh, <laughs> live up to any sort of expectation let's get one more on your imdb let's get one more on there <laughs> so let's go and watch Saturday morning mysteries all right here we go how do we do this george <laughs> do, we just, do we just read well, what read, do do? And okay. I, I advance read, read, or... very monotone. All right. All right. Well, let's see how this will go. All right. All right. You guys ready? Yep. One on my end. The all new Saturday morning mysteries. Number one. The future is yours when you train to be a McSee, a McDonald's custodian. Do you have what it takes to be a McDonald's person? They're big shoes to fill, but it's all waiting just for you. McDonald's people have ketchup in their veins. Ray Kroc. Hey, Skinny, your ribs are showing. We can make a man out of you. Experience real dynamic tension with chop and steel. What's our secret? 15 minutes a day in the privacy of your own room practicing dynamic tension. Give thanks for strengths. The Saturday Morning Gang in... Time for tedium. Gosh, Caitlin, it's so groovy that your uncle invited us to the set of the new Turbo Teen live action movie. Uncle Max is the executive producer. He's the boss. A movie set? This might be my ticket out of this hellhole. Forget it. You've got a face made for radio. <laughs> I gotta Ooh. say, this is the greatest thing ever. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> this is, I, I, <laughs> I'm, oh, this is so fantastic. This needs to be an actual thing, right? Yeah. I, yeah. Or, or are we the only the are, are we the only five people enjoying this? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I think we'll Cookie find out Max is having a great time. Yeah, Probably. yeah. Oh man. Wait, do, does he know does, does he know that we're doing this? Yes. Okay. Uh, yeah, we just emailed we'll just he just found out the other day. Yeah, yeah. All right. Oh the boy. Plot, okay. The plot is thickening here. There's a Okay, yeah, serious <laughs> character here. Uncle Max, it's so great to see you. Hello, Caitlin. Hi, gang. And it's so cool that you're making a movie of our favorite cartoon. Yeah, and casting Timothy Chalamet is perfect. 
Well, thanks, gang. It's, it's Timothy, Timothy Chalamet. Oh, it's so great to see you crime busters here. There have been some strange things going on. Is this is a strange? There's a phantom haunting the set. Phantom? Why does it always have to be phantoms? It's animal abuse, I tell ya. Yipes. Look. It's the phantom. He's hideous. Like yow. Ah there. Time for timer. <laughs> Do you ever get that hungry feeling of hate for hipsters who... <laughs> 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 Sorry. And now, is he, sing is he singing in this part here? Or no, is that... Uh, just speaking before he starts. sort of talks singing here, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, I oh, yeah, do it. it. I love a movie star is when the, mu the music it's... notes are next to it. Oh, yeah. okay. Okay. Oh, he's okay. not singing here. He's just. Right, do you ever get that hungry feeling of hate for hipsters who do remakes of vapid pop culture cartoons? Boy, I do. I love a movie star, but I couldn't eat a whole one. But I think I'd like to roll one in a carpet I set alight with the fire of my righteous hate. I hanker for a hunk of flesh. Uh, oh. <laughs> what are you guys doing? Don't just stand there, grab him! <laughs> In a poof of smoke, the phantom is gone. What's going on, Uncle Max? A uh, nightmare, that's what! A hundred million dollar movie, and that phantom is ruining it! Later. Poor Uncle Max, we've gotta help. There's something familiar about that phantom. Yeah, that's why I cranked up S-T-E-V-E. -E. Yep, sir. Hello, gang. Sweet. Here's what I found. Look, sir. S-T-E-V-E, -E, Crime Computer. Silly attempt to evolve an acronym. Zwee! The being, called Timer, is actually an ancient demonic entity that eats the souls of its victims. Zwee Zwee! No, I'm just messing with you. Zwee Zwee! It was just a dumb PSA from the 70s. Zwee Zwee! Of course! Time for Timer! Right, he taught kids to eat healthy. Yeah, like I'd watch him eating Frankenberry. Straight from the box. I fucked that up. <laughs> we do it. Yeah, like I'd watch him while eating Frankenberry. Straight from the box. Did someone say sugary cereal? Never mind that. Where are our burgers? I'm tired of chewing this old rag. Hey, look. Rambo's got something in his mouth. Ah, take it. Lost its flavor 20 minutes ago. Hmm, this looks like a piece from Timer's body, covered in luminous paint, a definite clue. Looks like we've got ourselves a mystery. Oh, brother, and I wanted to catch up on my beauty sleep. Forget it, we're only here for the weekend. And that's where we're going to break for <laughs> a commercial. A commercial Holy for Ronnie. Um, I, I tell you what, I, I want Cookie Madison. Let's just do Cookie Madison comic books every week for Saturday morning cartoons from now on. Let's like forget the cartoon part. Like, I don't really care about those. Like, let's focus on this, this comic. And let's do this every week. The five of us, man. Also, Jason, it is so much fun to watch you do this. Oh, God. God. Like, dying every time. You have a you different edit. voice for I every like person. In. You, yeah, yeah, well, you got to, you know? It's like watching a magician. I expecting the a movements, magician. but it's really... Oh, I, it's who was it? Who, who said it? I, maybe it was Elvis who said it. If I, move, if I don't move, I can't sing. <laughs> <laughs> Jason, feeling, when, you know? when you're doing like a cartoon voice or like for example the fire truck do they show you a picture of it before so yeah. you can kind of get the voice okay got it yeah yeah, yeah. all right so, so it helps you it helps you to see these panels and like you can like oh, create the sure. voice from the oh yeah, uh, yeah. I, I read the panels before i read the the um just the word script because you know i mean the, the but you know like with um but nick had a good suggestion with uh the bulldog i wouldn't have done a louis armstrong thing but I <laughs> well that awesome. that's the voice i do for marty so i yeah, yeah. you know it's fun to hear you do it as well <laughs> <laughs> I love it. all right george what do we got for commercials well, one of the recurring themes of TV ads in the 80s and 90s on Saturday mornings was the gross-out toy. 
um, aimed, as you might imagine, to the young male demographic. So here are a bunch of them that I'd never seen before. Saturday morning cartoons will be right back. I think girls can be the gross out too. Super I agree. We got a super stinkers water gun, and we're gonna have some smelly fun. Super <laughs> pepperoni <laughs> pizza, <laughs> super stinkers, <laughs> smelly old sneakers. Oh, I would have bought this. Pitch. I would have bought this for guys, sure. Give them a blast. If I knew it existed. Super, super stinkers, oh, we gotta get one. Fluid from your grandma's <laughs> elbow. <laughs> Okay. It reminds me of a memory from my childhood. That Bring is, it. Uh, Bring it. Pizza related. So there was like a you know Nickelodeon released toys for a while, like moon shoes and stuff. And then mm -hmm. things like um there was a stuff called Gak. Gak. Or, yes. Yeah. Like, I don't even know how to describe it. It was sort of like a precursor to slime, you know? Mm -hmm. Um, and it was different scents. And I had gotten um pizza, like pepperoni pizza scented gack for birth my birthday, which is a you know summer birthday. And um I somehow lost it in the yard, like <laughs> in its container around the time of my birthday in mid-June and then didn't find it in the yard after baking out there for a hot summer until the end of August and opened it <laughs> up. Scorpions and, like, were surrounding it. <laughs> well, just like the already revolting smell of like, you know, fake pizza smell having been out in the sun for all that time, I actually barfed. You right did. There. Uh, <laughs> but, oh. I smelled it. <laughs> wow if if a smell can spark you to barf you know i mean that's the ultimate yeah. i remember sitting in i think it was sixth grade and there was a girl named Susie in my class who had a little egg full of gack and i was just watching her as we're in class open the gack and lick it she would lick it and put it back and like look around and then she'd lick it again it was not like, flavored it was scented <laughs> i know but i'm like what well, something was going on you know, yeah. Oh, hope wow. Susie's okay now. Can I can I tell a quick before we can uh, continue the commercials? Can I can <laughs> can I do a, a smelly uh, smell oh, results man. in barf uh, story? Yeah. So Nick and I were <laughs> no. By the way, <laughs> my my nickname for Joe is Super Stinker. So um, yeah, all right. Oh, yeah, 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 go yeah. ahead. That's me. Yeah. Um, so we're on a flight from uh, Charlotte to New York. And it's a particularly bumpy flight and it keeps circling around New York because, you know, JFK is always like it takes forever to land in there. And it was windy and bouncy and everybody was barfing and oh. the barf smell was like wafted. Oh. I've never barfed on a plane before until I smelled that much barf on a plane. <laughs> and then I had to get the barf bag out. And before I got on that plane, I ate an entire California pizza kitchen, uh, barbecue <laughs> chicken pizza, oh, the entire thing because I was hungry and I. I was like, I never thought that the barf bags could contain all that barf. They don't look big enough. It filled it up right to the top with enough oh. room to fold it over once. And <laughs> I did it. And, the, and I was Failed. and I was in a middle seat. I was in a middle seat, oh. too. And the, but there were oh, two very man. nice women on either side. And both of them, one offered me gum and one offered me an apple. And they were very nice. <laughs> and like fill up that stomach time. again. <laughs> <laughs> trying to plug you up with the apple. <laughs> yeah, Nick, Nick, do you remember when we were walking to the to the baggage claim? What that one guy said? Yeah, he goes, were you on that flight? And he goes, <laughs> he goes, I almost puked. And Joe goes, I did. He goes, oh man, and the last thing I ate was banana laffy taffy. <laughs> <laughs> and to me, that's exactly the last thing you eat before you barf. You know, yeah. it's uh, it's so perfect. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I, yeah. Go I ahead, feel George. like I I feel like I have to throw in my vomit story. Yeah, At first sorry. grade, yeah. you know how in when you puke in elementary school it can be traumatic not just for you but for everybody who happens to be there i think i might have been the first kid who puked in front of everybody else in the oh, library in first grade so people no. still who i know from elementary school <laughs> still bring it up but the interesting thing was i had just eaten alphabet soup and the fact that there were letters in the library <laughs> is a memory that i can't shake yes <laughs> dude yes. <A> literary vomit <laughs> beautiful I, I would love to like have a photo of that vomit so we can pick out the perfect word to describe oh, your. I mean, there's so probably good. a word was spelled out down there. Help, probably. It, it just yeah. said help. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, Caitlin, thank you so much for starting this avalanche. Yes. Of, uh, yes. Barf, yeah. This barf avalanche. Yeah. avalanche. So good. Yeah. <laughs> All right, here we go. More gross commercials. Yeah. Let's make some groceries in the incredible edibles groceries maker by corn on the slog, French fries, cream cheese. Uh -huh. 
100% gross. It's the incredible edibles meet a Power Ranger sweepstakes. One lucky family will win a trip to Hollywood and have lunch with a real Power Ranger. The only thing better than making with a real Power Ranger. Yeah. <laughs> Not an actor. Details of participating retailers. Incredible edibles. How would they, they eat? Don't they have a mask? Separately, parents put it together. Light bulb not included. Did they toilet. smash it into their. There's yeah. a funky new smell coming to town. Stink blasters. Yo, pass around. <laughs> That's my nickname for Nick. Trading cards too. <laughs> Give him a squeeze and. Pee you. There's B.O. Brian, Skunk Punk, and Minnie Mo. Blast anyone. Yeah, even Big Bro. Just squeeze the head and. Ew. Gross. Now who's got the blasting power? Time to give her a stink blaster shower. Who smelt it? Who dealt it? Who denied it? Who Asshole. supplied it? Stink blasters? <laughs> Let me try it. Stink blasters. <laughs> Her young hoodlum. <laughs> This worm's crawling, this worm's crawl out, get closer, your stomach and out your mouth. Yes, it squirms! The new worm crawling game, so gross, it's totally cool! Get all your worms into the skull first, and use the bona fide champ! That looks but fun. watch out for the brain! <laughs> now, once more with feeling. This worm's crawling, this worm's crawl out, get closer, your stomach and out your mouth. I hate when that Terrifying. happens! Squirms, the gross new game for Parker Brothers! In my opinion, he, he just he didn't hit bone in bona fide hard enough. That was right. you know that he just <laughs> sailed over that. Can we go back? Can we go back and uh... so when you're making your notes and your voiceover, you'd put an underline on that, yeah, right? Yeah, you put a little arrow up, you do a little squiggle, something. <laughs> Going back very slowly. All right, here we go. Back to bona fide. Let me know when we get there. Well, and Jason, can you just uh, <laughs> can you just tell us how you think it should go? Oh yeah. <laughs> Is it a, a bona fide? You know, something like that. Just fucking yell right. it out, man. All right, let's... you got to lose. Hey, don't soft pedal on the pun. I mean, you know, it's a kid's commercial. I'm like, All what right. have you got to lose? You're yelling at the skeleton right now. Let's hear it. <laughs> Growth is totally good. Get all your worms into the skull first, and you're the bona fide champ. Yeah. The bona fide champ. Yeah. <laughs> Much better. <laughs> you're the. And then the real he he pulls out a shit from his eye when he says, "I hate when that happens." Yeah. <laughs> I want it to be. Oh man, I have it. What are they? Like, you make them, basically. Came with metal plates. Um, yeah, that's awesome. Is that Dan Aykroyd? <laughs> that's kind of what I was going to say. I thought it was, um, what's his name? Bruce Campbell. Oh well, yeah, I could see that. Yeah. Embarrass your dad. Creepy Crawler's Workshop with Classy Goo. Now the horror is in your hands with Goosebumps Monster Head Maker. Create four oh, hideous that. heads from the chilling tales of R.L. Stein, or eye-popping creations from your imagination that drip and drool. I've got a runny nose. Talk about gross. Crack open a dreadhead. Monster blood. Or try edible brain bites. Look, Dad. <laughs> Dad's not embarrassed anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Who's yeah. embarrassed now? <laughs> now back to Saturday morning cartoons. Oh, no ride to soccer. <laughs> I have a comment about gross commercials. Those yes. are all from like the the nineties. I yeah. believe so. It yeah. Seems like it was all about like farts and snot for in the nineties, and now mm -hmm. like poop is huge. For it's kids. like everybody right. does it. Like you, Jason, you have kids, right? I, I don't do. know how it's old they are, but them too, yeah. right? I mean, there's like all these toys that poop now. That wasn't yes. the thing. I think it started with the emoji. I think that softened the blow for everyone, and we're like, yeah, no, we're cool with poop and eyeballs and poop. Yep. I, I went to a, a poop themed cafe in Toronto that was like an Asian, like you sat on toilets and you had food that looked like poop. And that, that weren't yeah, cafe, and this man. was this was a dream you had. <laughs> it's, a, it's a real cafe and it's all themed with cute poop with eyeballs and stuff. So no, yeah. like, my niece is like she's like four years. Or she's five. And she like she loves we she came to New York and we got her like this like rainbow colored poop thing and she lost it. And then we had to go back and buy her a new rainbow colored poop thing yeah you're right that poop is the thing now and they it love is. the it poop was stuff thing when i was younger yeah poop yeah. is the thing you should have invested <laughs> in poop back in 2000 yeah Damn it. i know yeah, i'm just flushing it down the toilet uh, <laughs> money down all right the drain. 
All right, you stink blasters. Let's get back to the comic book. <laughs> okay. Uh, Here we go. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Concentrate. We got to concentrate. All right. The thrilling conclusion. Do you really think talking to the local cops will help? I'm sure they're very competent. But I have no idea what you're talking about, man. I mean, like, no idea, you know? Hey, man, this sounds crazy, man. Like, it's funny, man, you know? Like, a comedy show, man. Here's a joke, man. <laughs> well, I guess we're on our own. What was wrong with that guy? Let's go back to the set. Well, back to where that spooky old phantom is? These guys are gluttons for punishment. Yeah, you're just a glutton. We'd better split up to cover more ground. That's what you always say. And I'm always the one who finds the creep. Oh, sure glad to see you. The phantom usually scares people away for good. It takes more than a yellow blob to scare us away. Speak for yourself. I'd really like to help you solve this mystery. That's great, Mr. Chalamet. And I've got a plan to catch our phantom. Uh-oh. Gather round, gang. Here's what we'll do. And then we... That net was set up to catch a stuntman for a scene in the movie. But we can use it to catch Timer. Right. All we have to do is lure him here. Oh, and like, I think I can guess who's going to lure him. But like, maybe this time someone else will find the spook first. Yeah, and maybe I'll marry Lassie. Good joke. Good joke. <laughs> so much for Lassie! <laughs> George found the phantom, as usual. This way, George! Over here! Fwam! <laughs> Oh, that's the best flam I've ever heard right there. <laughs> He's getting away. Whomp. Not if I can help it. Yow. Wait, can I just interrupt for a second? I, like, Jason, I would say of all your voices, they're all incredible. But Timothy Shelley might, might be my favorite because you really try <laughs> to you try to put on a boring voice. It's like a I, boring voice, right? I listened to about 10 minutes of a Timothy Chalamet interview, and I'm like, I can't pick up anything except <laughs> <laughs> But it does sound like how it sounds in the Saturday morning cartoons where they're yeah, like, absolutely. where it's just like a boring. Oh, good, yeah. oh yeah, he's generic, the milk toast. Yes. Sure. <laughs> white guy. White yeah. teen. <laughs> he has white teen, boring. Okay, he's anyway. pulled up to the gate of dreaminess, but he doesn't go in. You know right. what I mean? <laughs> right. Exactly. Yep. Right at the edge. Great work, Mr. Chalamet. Oh, he got him. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> now let's see who's under the mask. Yoink! It's 1980s comedian Joe Piscopo. I haven't seen him in years. He auditioned for the villain part in the picture. That was gonna be my big comeback! <laughs> Guess he thought if he cost us enough money, we'd be desperate to cast him. And I would have gotten away with it. And I would have gotten away with it if it wasn't. Ah, uh, uh, shut, shut up! up. Oh, come on, give me a break! I haven't worked in 27 years! I mean, throw me a bone here! I I'll take a bit part, a walk on anything! The end. <laughs> wait, 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 let me show you. What? Oh. I've been, co go back to the last panel, George. I've been cosplaying as myself this whole time. Uh, oh! Yeah. Yes! Yay. Yes! Nice! <laughs> yes! Oh, man. Very proud. Very proud. <laughs> wait, Hell so we, yeah! We never saw and there's Sluggo and Nancy. Thank you, too. Cookie. Oh, oh yeah, there was Nancy. Nancy. Yeah. Let's see the details in this. <laughs> Cookie Madison! For crying out loud. Cookie. It's a love letter to Saturday morning cartoons. I am thrilled. I am I'm honored. I especially like that I get to play banjo here. 
Um, oh, in the uh, yeah, <laughs> the pinup in the back, yeah, yeah. Oh. And that's an expression you would make too. I like, I like that I am like a little bit of uh, Jughead, but a little bit of Reggie. Don't you say like I just got like a in person? Bit... Yes, you really exactly. are. I feel like I'm kind of Archie esque. I think. Yeah. Yeah. I think you're wearing your your Budweiser shirt in this. That's what right? I'm wearing. Ah, oh, I should have worn that. Where is it? Hold on. I might it's a nice touch, it. though. Really, yeah, it is touch. fantastic. I yes. like my Peace Stein hat too. I got to make one of those. <laughs> Nick's wearing bell bottoms, his classic bell bottoms. Yeah. Uh -huh. And that's Marty's signature tambourine, too. <laughs> and those are the pictures I, I uh, stole and <laughs> for the uh, opening credits. It's just, just he, he put it all there. It was it was he made everything. It was it's amazing. Uh, Cookie Mass. Really we we, we got to mass produce this and, and, and send it out to everybody. We got to make a bunch of these. And uh, yeah, this yeah, should be we on. should. Yeah. yeah, we should sell them and give Cookie a cut of them or, you know, something or make them downloadable or something. I don't are, know. Are you but... guys on on tour at all coming up or anything yeah. like that? Yeah. With found footage? Or, yeah, this uh, fall. Mm -hmm. Yep, this oh, fall. Great. Got, yeah, the new show. So, yeah, yes, I, for sure. We'll get definitely that. Uh, buy those there for we'll sure. Put that on the merch table for sure. Exactly. Yeah. Yes. Um, wow. And Jason, by the way, like, I mean, you did the heavy lifting, I feel like, yes. on this because like <laughs> I'm sweating. <laughs> I'm okay, I'll be okay. I was actually worried about your voice sometimes when you had to do Marty's voice. I was worried, like, what if you like, you know, sprain your neck or no. something? <laughs> on, uh, if you if you felt Welker would run in, and you, you know, know it's he, he, it's so funny in the time in the time that was, since we had the last uh, Saturday with when I was on, uh, I told you guys my throat was like acting up. In the time between then and now, I actually went to an ENT and they put a scope down my throat. <laughs> And they're like, the guy's like, yeah, it's muscular. He's like, you got to consider yourself a vocal athlete. And sometimes you just sprain your throat. I was like, <laughs> oh, here's $500. Thank you. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I didn't know about that. Wow. But uh, yeah, but the that, yeah, these, the, this is fun, man. Those, those were some fun voices. That was great. I was impressed with George's sort of um, shaggy ask uh, coward uh, character. Yeah. And uh, Kaylin was the real glue, finding the clues, uh, doing all the exp expository dialogue. I mean, that's a thankless role, but uh, you. Oh, the role, role of a lifetime. So thank you. <laughs> I appreciate you casting me. <laughs> it, it, it's true Velma. I mean, it's like classic Velma, right? I mean, I, I, we do. I, I think mean, it's a Velma Daphne just... amalgam. Exactly. Yeah. Right, right. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I hope by issue five, I appear as uh, the bad guy, but it's a it's a misdirection. To, you know, you, you don't know until the very end that I'm actually out to take over uh, right. the Saturday morning franchise. It, it Jason is... Griffith. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what's but, under his face. Uh, <laughs> oh, no. All these characters Just tore his head on. off. And, and, and your superpower is that the sun shoots out behind yeah, you exactly. like intensely. <laughs> Sorry, and yeah, I would have gotten away with it too. If, uh, I would have gotten away with it if I hadn't sprained my throat. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we have to do. We have to make him sprain his throat. Cookie, so if you're listening, and you are listening, that's the next one. Yes. All oh, right. Yeah, and bravo to uh, Rich Perot and uh, who goes by the name Cookie Madison as a, as the illustrator, comic book artist. What a what a delight and a treat and worthy of this uh, table read. I think the, the thing that I learned was that we have a future in uh, making our own cartoon with this crew here, the extended Shatterday family. I think we can. Mm. I'm so excited. This is our ticket out of this hellhole. Finally, it's our ticket out of this hellhole that we all live in. We need to make the official. We need to animate Saturday morning mysteries. That's the yeah, last. Yeah, George, did you learn yeah. anything beyond that? Yeah, I think I've learned something. Today's episode has been a complete break from convention. For the first time in Shatterday history, no cartoon was shown. However, it cannot escape our notice that even in the absence of animation, we ourselves became a cartoon. This demonstrates that those elements of our lives that give us amusement are not wholly separate from ourselves. In fact, by partaking in them, we are fundamentally altered by our pastimes. How else can you explain the innumerable toy collectors found dead in their cluttered apartments surrounded by pristine condition, mass-produced ephemera with desiccated corpses that are discovered by a handyman six months too late, claimed by neither family nor friends, and sent for burial in a potter's field that decidedly not mint in box? As the good book says, we should never give in completely to our desires. That book, of course, is the 1995 Toronto Swingers Guide, and it's never steered me wrong. In summation, we must be careful that as we delight in our diversions, we do not get lost in them. So I say, just like comic book George, like, wow, man. 
damn it, it's already happening to me, but it's not too late for you. And that's why I always say, the more you battle is twice the knowing. Good one. Good one. Timothy Shell I I couldn't have said it better. <laughs> also, extra shout out to George for writing a theme song for it and yeah. animating us. Yeah. That was incredible. Yes. So good. It, that but was no, incredible here's the other thing. Too. Like, as soon as you got it, like you were inspired and you finished that within like 24 hours. Like you wrote it immediately, and it's like, right? I mean it, it was it was around that. It just it, it, <laughs> I, I, it was it popped into my head fully formed. Also, people don't know this, but like George, you don't sleep. Right. Like you're like up. <laughs> That's all actually night true long. of late. I, yeah. I haven't gotten more than five hours of sleep in two he, months. He doesn't sleep. He'll he'll you'll get texts from him or emails from him at like 543 a.m. <laughs> so you're a vampire is what I'm saying. And so I'm that's your secret. Person. So yeah, yeah. adds more inspiration for the next Saturday morning mysteries. George is a vampire, so yeah. you know oh. there's a trap, obvious trap door. We fall down it. You know, let's see who the real George is. <laughs> <laughs> I also learned um, that um, poop is the new puke, uh, right, Caitlin? Poop is the new fart. I would say poop yeah. is the new fart. Right, mm. puke is always evergreen. <laughs> puke will always be puke. Uh, that, that's one of my favorite <laughs> corrections of all time. Like, no, no, Nick. No. Puke is not poop is not the new puke. Poop is the new fart, Nick. You're wrong. Yeah, it's a, see <laughs> librarians like one of those. do know everything. Yeah. I'm a tenured professor. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> not anymore. You're not uh, one of those Sunday morning <laughs> debate shows. Well, let's define our terms here. I mean, I, I would say that um, no fart is the old. Uh, I disagree completely. Right. Puke <laughs> is puke is puke. <laughs> <laughs> and look forward to next season on Saturday Morning Cartoons, Staplers. And that doesn't <laughs> wet your whistle for next fall. Hey, happy, happy Shatter!